A commonly held view is that gardening is something that you do once you're retired or you have tons of time on your hands. But think about why that is. Is it because all the people in your life who garden are older? Or because most of the presenters on Gardener's World were born before 1980? Or that 98% of gardening brands aim their marketing towards the older generation? Sure, there's a new generation of millennials getting into gardening now, and you'd like to give it a go, but your life is much too busy to garden, isn't it? That's exactly what I thought before I started gardening mindfully six years ago. But I just moved into a new house with a garden, and the control freak in me would not allow the garden to be a mess. So I started to garden. But I never had time to spend hours and hours out there. I worked full time as a forensic scientist in a highly pressurised job and ran my own jewellery business on the side. Throw a baby into the mix and I was lucky if I got time to drink a hot cup of tea before someone would be demanding my attention. My brain was always going at 100 miles an hour and despite trying meditation, yoga, hot bubble bath, scented candles, literally anything, I still struggled to quieten my mind. But after a few months of being in our new home, I realised that there was one place my brain was actually quiet and that was while I was gardening. So, ever the scientist, I started trying to combine mindfulness techniques with my gardening activities as a way to accelerate the calming effect it was having on me and get more headspace. Greedy, huh? Um, once I discovered that this powerful combination allowed me to find calm quicker, it was like a drug. My brain craved more and more of that quiet time that my mindful gardening activities afforded it. But I couldn't magic time out of thin air. Or could I? Firstly, I streamlined all the things I had to do for work, for home and childcare. And when I really looked at it and I was really honest with myself, I was doing so many things that I didn't actually want to do, but I just felt like I should be doing them. So I, let me tell you now, they got a big old fat cross straight through them. Um, once I simplified all of that, I mapped out my entire week and I started to look for gaps when I could fit in some more gardening. And this was when I started to create my mindful gardening framework, particular activities that could be done in five minutes, 20 minutes or 60 minutes, depending on how much time I had available to me. So these techniques were created by me to enable myself to quickly find headspace. They fit into my super hectic life and they worked for me as a modern busy woman. Now I share these methods with my clients to help them start to ease off the accelerator, slow down and reconnect with themselves and their passion just by taking small moments of time to work on their garden. My mindful gardening activities fit into your life, not the other way around. They can be done at any time and they are simple enough to do so that you can focus on the most important thing, which is giving your busy brain a break. Let's rewrite the hugely outdated view that you have to have hours and hours of time or that you have to change your entire lifestyle in order to garden in a way that benefits you and your plants. If you want some support to simplify your life, get more time for you and get your mindful gardening plan in place so you can feel calmer and happier while still getting stuff done. Then book a call by clicking the button below and let's work out your next steps.